Thank you, Nick. I really appreciate it. Can I get a picture of these two? Is that cool? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These are all the Orlando Magic team balls. You can see Nick Anderson prominently signed all of them. All right, Ellie, big smile. One, two, three. Thank you. This is part of Big League's 25th year anniversary celebration. We're going to be celebrating all year. Have you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I like basketball this year. I didn't play it. Well, good luck. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Way <laughs> the guys are still in shape. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. since the expansion year, man. All right. All right. Awesome. Here, give him a couple extras if you don't mind. What's that? You're just as old as me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Chris, man. I'm Chris, baby. Nick, I'd like to just tell you, I've always brought all my grandkids from day one. To you get your old dad to come to meet you. And I want to tell you how much we've enjoyed having you here in Orlando to make him number 25 a popular number here. And not only did you make it popular, but you honored your friend at the same time. Yeah, thank you very much. And that will always be remembered. Thank you very much. Hey, do you have cards? Do you have autographs for all your grandkids? Yeah. Did you have enough for all of them? Yeah, when they were still, he was this big. I had Nick signed it. Let me get one picture with you. Nick. Cheers. 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 And yeah, and as I mentioned earlier, for those that didn't hear, the reason why Michael Jordan went back from number 45 to 23 is because of this man right here, because in the Eastern Championship, he stole the ball from him. You guys don't know how much flack I took from that. <laughs> What is Nick, you're 11,000 points, like 11,500? Yeah. Like, yeah. Over 11,000 points in the NBA. First player ever selected by the Orlando Magic, led the Magic to the NBA Finals. 1,004 career steals. There he is. Oh, did you get a couple extra? Oh, okay. Going on. Thanks. Does anybody have any questions for Nick? I think he'll field a few questions if you got any questions. How many of you young men in here play basketball or sports in general? Who plays basketball? Who are the kids in here that play basketball or sports in general? Have you been told? If you, I know you probably have or you should have. Fun, fundamentals is the key. Learn the fundamentals of your game. And then you implement all the fancy stuff. Learn the fundamentals of the game. You don't have to, for, trust these basketball players, you don't have to be the guy that can jump the highest. I've seen guys that can jump over the basketball uh, rim. But a guy who's fundamentally sound, just kill him. Learn the fundamentals. There you go. Nick, where did you learn your fundamentals? Where, where would you most attribute that you learned your fundamentals? Well, I played against a bunch of competition, being from Chicago, you know, one of the best basketball meccas there is. So, playing against competition. Listen to this. I don't care how big and strong and fast he or she may be, don't run from the competition, run to it. Mm. Never. Don't be afraid. Why would you just play against somebody all the time that you know you can beat? Hey, there you go. Challenge yourself. Life is a challenge in itself, whether you know it or not. Run to the competition. Don't run from it. What were one of your big challenges, Nick? Sports, otherwise, a big challenge that you had to face. Oh, it was a challenge getting out of Chicago. <laughs> that was a big challenge. Why is that? Yeah, because of... My upbringing, what my surroundings that I had to deal with every day. See, being from Chicago, I don't know if you guys follow what goes on to this date. It's much worse today than it was when I grew up. I had to deal with drugs and gangs. 
going to school. There was times that we would have to get off the bus, the transit authority, because fights break out on the bus, and we would walk, have to walk six blocks, seven blocks, wherever it is. Sometimes 20 below zero mm -hmm. in the snow. So it's a challenge. You're always going to have a challenge. Are you going to run from it, or are you going to run to it? Face it, because that challenge might come up again. You're going to run every time a challenge come up? That, that, that's a sign of uh, you really don't want to take it to the next level. I'm going to ask you young guys a question. Are you heads or tails? Heads. You heads? Heads. 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 Raise heads. a hand, heads. Or show of hands or tails. Well, I'm sorry, because I'm a head. I'm leading the pack. Tail, I ain't following. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh-huh. Be a leader. Be a leader. You know who I used to love beating and I rubbed it in? Indiana. Indiana. Bobby Knight. Oh. You know, the, my last two choices to choose to go to college was Illinois and Indiana. My high school coach was a disciplinarian. He was like Bobby Knight. And then my dad was at home, so... And he was the same way, so all that that did I wasn't afraid of that because I got that on both sides. But I chose the best school there is, and that's the University of Illinois. What did you study? Uh, speech communication broadcasting. It's obviously served you well. <laughs> I had a great time in college. I had a wonderful time. Not only I played with a lot of guys that I played against in high school. In the state of Illinois, we all kept it right there. So that was good. And then Lou Henson, and you know, the Lou dude, what we call him. Mm -hmm. You know, great guy to play for, and then the coaching staff. And then, our, you know, our student faculty, how we supported one another. In that time, our football team was pretty good, our girls' basketball team. And we all supported one another. So, and that brought down a lot of success for us. So it was great. Congratulations! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Just play with your signature here. That's a beautiful ball, Nick. That's awesome. What's your number? Did My you have favorite teammate. Hands down. For is that? Uh, are you? Is that college or pro? Penny Hardaway. Really? Why is that? Penny Hardaway was his favorite teammate. Why is Just that? Just such a humble guy. Loved playing the game. He used to tell me all the time how much he wanted to be better. He wanted to get better. He used to say this honestly. He used to say, I can be on the on the on the, the level of he used to name out NBA All Stars that that was in the league. Okay. And here's a guy that his work that was unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? We used to say, be the first one in the gym and the last one to leave. And he's a true testament of it. Wow, well, I had no idea. True he, he, he also came up from very humble beginnings. Yeah, Penny and Hardaway, you didn't know, Penny Hardaway yeah. played his whole career with a bullet lodged in his foot. He was shot in Memphis. That's where he's from. He was shot in his foot. So he had the bullet, the bullet still lodged in his foot. Just humble. When I say all the time, not sometimes. I have so much respect for him. So much respect for him because the way he approached life in general. He was destined. You know, they used to say penny from heaven. That's what they used to say when he was coming out of college. You know? I, I respect him to the utmost. There's no disrespect to anybody else. And my second favorite was Brian Shaw. Oh. See, see, a lot of you, everybody has a story. Mm -hmm. Every, probably 95% of the NBA guys have a story. I don't care where you're from, what, what your religion, your background, and what, I don't, I don't care about none of that. You know, these guys have a story. Do anybody know the story of Brian Shaw? Yeah. You never heard the story behind Brian Shaw. Oh, yeah. 
Brian Shaw, when he played for the Miami Heat, his mom, his dad, his sister, and his sister's young daughter, four years old at the time, was driving to Miami to see him play. And his dad fell asleep and ran into the, the overpass. Oh Killed everybody in the car except the little girl. Ooh. He adopted his niece. You know, I will never forget when it happened. So, you know, I tell people all the time, when you follow somebody, know a little bit about the background, the true background. Of Don't just follow statistics. Know about who you're following. So that's the story behind Brian Shaw. I, I respect him. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And his leadership, his leadership on and off the court, he was basically the one that kept our team intact because Brian Shaw, when he came out of school, he played in Boston when it was Larry Bird, McHale, Paris, all those. So he was a young guy that played with a lot of veterans. A lot of respectable veterans to learn from. Good, good, good to learn from, man. You know, and I, I respect that. But and like I said, no disrespect to any of my other teammates, but Penny Hardaway and Brian Shaw, I have most, the most up most respect. Yeah, I'm a great guy. We'll get one of all of you if you prefer how we're going to do it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good little double duty. <laughs> Look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go one of everybody. Do you guys want to get in there? Yeah, go one of everybody. I'm all right yourself. Oh, wow. Oh, you're going way oh. back here. All right, let me see who we got on here. How did you manage to not get him on there? Yeah, yeah. Matt, <laughs> I was just saying that to my wife. I've gotten your autograph. Uh, and I've never gotten on this pet. I don't know how. You got wow. Dag Strong, yep. uh, Goose Given. Let's see, Isaac Austin, uh, Keon Gillings. There's a bow right there. Uh, Dr. J. My man, Matt Harbour. Uh, <laughs> oh. If I was still playing, what's the question again? If you were still playing basketball, would you rather risk Steph Curry or LeBron James? Who would I rather go against? One-on-one. Mm -hmm. One-on-one. Yeah. Now, this is my own personal opinion. A lot of people have different opinions. And this with me, playing the game as long as I had, and I played the position. And it's my own personal opinion. To this day, LeBron James is the best all-around basketball player in the NBA. Wow. Not in the NBA, in the world. Ever? No, in today's game. And Kobe Bryant sitting at home. Now Kobe, I can't put Kobe in this, but this is my own personal opinion. LeBron James is the best all-around basketball player. And no, no disrespect to any of the other guys. LeBron James does a little bit of everything. 89, I started going to games and running film. That's when you had to process film <laughs> for the you know, Warriors photographers and everybody else. Hi, thanks, Tom. In the, the Michael Jordan series, when he came back for 45, they gave me a shot to get on the court. And I <laughs> took that oh, wow. stealing the ball. And wow. I had that framed in my house for the longest wow. of time. And it's... Uh, Right. See these wow. shoes I got on? Yeah. <laughs> they are Jordans. I had my own. <laughs> I had my own shoes because of, that's my buddy. I had my own shoes because of him. Mm. There was a team colors, blue, black, and white, and then I had a 25 on the side of them. I had that Nike contract because of him. I had a picture of Penny slamming the ball against Indiana, and you were just up there watching with the other Indiana players, and he's just crashing I down. Knew, I, knew, I believe it was. It was a smart try to try to take take a charge. No, he, no, he he was just there, and, oh, okay. and all three. Of the, I, I didn't know you were still with him. Yeah, that's my man. man. Where well, you want me to sign this? Uh, any, I think the floor would be fine. Yeah. 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 Where do you want? Michael Jordan will never sign it. Let you know. I got a, I got a uh, trivia question. Trivia time. What form of magic player played on a leopard team? Say it again. No, I said what form of magic player? 
Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Jeff Turner. I'm a Tom Brady fan to the end. Oh. I love Aaron Rodgers. I'm, I'm out. Sorry. I, I'm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Tom Brady fan. I didn't know. He did not say anything about this earlier. I had no idea. I got a question right here. Um, when you were in the pros, was there anybody you just like, wanted to fight? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I, I used to try to bait him into it, but he never fall for it. Me, Reggie Miller, because he just, just, oh, I just, just all this all day, every day. I used to bait him into it, but he'd never do it. He'd never do it. But, look, when you, you know, tempers flares, you know, obviously, it's just the competitive nature of guys. And sometimes it goes a little bit farther than it should. It's part of the game. You scared. Nick, have you thought about getting into coaching? I love it. I would love to mentor. That's what I call it because that's all it is. Well, hey, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Wow. Hey, Nick, dude. All right. Here for Silver Sharpie, you go, Bo. Bo. Mm -hmm.